Hello, saints. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. Today's message is titled, Press Into Your Ministry. And the reason that I'm doing this message is to encourage those Christians who are currently pressing into their ministry and doing as they have been commanded, being a witness for the Lord Jesus Christ, following the example that Paul the Apostle set for us. Press into your ministry, Acts 6-4, but we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. This is what the servant of the Lord will do, as we must needs to know the truth in all things if we are going to encourage, instruct, and teach. For how can we teach using the word of God correctly if we ourselves have not been taught of God? If we are not spending time with him daily with the renewing of our minds and in prayer, we are being disobedient to the ministry. But if we press into what our ministry is, this is the beginning of being obedient to what God has given us, and this is our ministry. We have not been saved to stew and do nothing. We have been saved and given work to do for the kingdom. For all who know Jesus and are known of him are fellow laborers in the ministry that Christ has put all of us in. Philippians 4.3 says, I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help those women which labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers whose names are in the book of life. So, you see, we are all in this together, considering our names are in the book of life, as we labor until we are taken to be with Jesus or he return. But there is still much work to do, not work to be saved or to stay saved, but work in bringing the good news of the gospel to those in our homes, communities, and the world. Acts 20:20, 20, 20, and how I kept back nothing that was profitable unto you, but have showed you and have taught you publicly and from house to house, testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greeks, repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. And now, behold, I go bound in the spirit unto Jerusalem, not knowing the things that shall befall me there, save that the Holy Ghost witnesseth in every city, saying that bonds and afflictions abide me. But none of these things move me, Neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. In the ministry given to Paul the Apostle by Christ, he had suffered many things at the hands of many mean men who would have liked to kill Paul. But even with the threat of death and imprisonment, the Apostle remained strong in completing the course the Lord Jesus had marked out for him to run. We must do the same in the face of those that hate Jesus and you on the grounds you are able to bring the truth to each and every person and home you may encounter along your way, delivering the words of truth given us by Jesus as we follow Jesus by the example set for us by the Apostle Paul. Second Corinthians 4.1, therefore seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. For that reason, we should be running the course the Lord has given us strong, whereas we have confidence in what the Lord has promised those that love him, even as the disciples were filled with fear and dread at the death of Jesus. But upon seeing that Jesus had conquered death and rose from the grave, they became zealous, on fire for the truth they had witnessed and handled with their own hands, confirming that Christ had risen from the grave as God the Father had prophesied and just as Jesus has promised that he would. First John 1 1 that which was from the beginning which we have heard which we have seen with our eyes which we have looked upon and our hands have handled of the word of life we too must remain strong if we believe the scriptures and cling to the Lord Jesus due to the witness of those that saw him and beheld his glory they too were given explosive power to preach that Jesus is alive. This same explosive power that raised Jesus from the death and the grave has been given to us too with the gift of the Holy Spirit. This power allows us to speak boldly telling all we know that this same Jesus has the power to give life to them although now they are dead. 2 Corinthians 5.18 says, And all things are of God who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has 
hath given us the ministry of reconciliation. We can see from the scripture no one of the family of Christ has been excluded to labor for the kingdom. This ministry of reconciliation has been given to us that believe and we must use this ministry to reach this lost and untoward and totally depraved generation. Ephesians 4.12, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. We have not been saved for our own ends and means, but we have been called, all of us who know Jesus and have been given a ministry we must use for the edification of the body of Christ and his members, that we may teach and instruct in the way of truth, bringing those who have believed on Jesus into the fold, praying that they too may be presented perfect before God because of our ministering and ministry. This is not a choice for us, but a commandment, for if you love Jesus and his word this you will do you will minister you will press into your ministry Colossians 4 17 and say to Arch Archippus take heed to the ministry which thou hast received in the Lord that thou fulfill it we are to press into the ministry the Lord has put us in while making full use of every aspect given to us not being slothful but zealous for the Lord as this is a ministry that can only be separated from us in this life after that we shall be present with the Lord Jesus but we must press on to the end on the course marked out for us while never wavering our minds must be made up to serve the Lord Jesus as he commands us to serve him by following the example set for us by the Apostle Paul if we do these things commanded us we are good stewards of everything the Lord has given us in our ministry let us be bold in praying for all saints without ceasing, while also not ceasing to pray for the quick return of our Lord, Savior, and King Jesus on the grounds that Jesus said that men ought to always pray and not faint. If we are to press on and forward in our ministry, we must always be into the word and constantly always ready in prayer and not fainting or falling away from doing that. First Timothy 1.12, and I thank Jesus, our Lord, who hath enabled me for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. This ministry is not what we have created but what the Lord has put us in Jesus has already given us everything we need with the scriptures power that we are able ministers able to do what almost seems impossible these days and that is to speak the truth not our own truth which is corrupted but his truth the truth of the scriptures second Corinthians or second Timothy 4 5 and 8 but watch thou in all things endure afflictions do the work of an evangelist make full proof of thy ministry Ministry, for I am now ready to be offered and the time of my departure is at hand I have fought a good fight I have finished my course I have kept the faith henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord the righteous judge shall give me at that day and not to me only but unto them also that love his appearing are you going to move forward and continue pressing into your ministry and completing the course marked out for you by the Lord Jesus what will the Lord Lord say to you well good thy favorite well good thou faithful servant or I never knew you what will you hear remember we labor for the kingdom of God not this fallen and corrupt world I pray the Lord will add a blessing with this message